ഹലോ ഹായ് താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ജീൻ പോൾ ഫോർ ഇൻവൈറ്റിംഗ് മീ ഫോർ ദിസ് ഇന്റർവ്യൂ ഓ റൈറ്റ് യുവർ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ കൻ യു ഇൻട്രോഡ്യൂസ് യുവർ സെൽഫ് ടു ദ വിസിറ്റ് ടു ദ വിസിറ്റേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് സിനിമാ മൂവി തിയേറ്റർ ഡോട്ട് കോം ഹായ് ദിസ് ഇസ് എജാസ് ഹാൻ ഐ ആം എ ഫുൾ മേക്കർ ഐം എ ഡയറക്ടർ I come from a background of advertising. I've done quite a few ad films and I have done th- three feature films. My first film was called The White Elephant, uh which was released uh which was screened in festivals in 2009 and uh uh you know then uh, my second film Baki ki Crazy Barat was more on the commercial line on the mainstream cinema. which was released in 2017 it was uh, it uh, was uh, it it was screened for almost 6 uh, weeks uh, got some good response and now i have just finished a film called hamid where it's going to be it was uh, released on 15th of march uh, this year and it's still going on so today i think is the last day they're going to pull it out from cinema halls So yes I am a director I am a filmmaker and this is what I do Okay second question how was the filming how was the filming with Rasika Dugal and with the child actor Talha Arshad Rishi Okay it was great I mean Rasika is such a such a fantastic actor she has so much of Uh, depth and versatility where she uh, you know in her acting where she puts herself completely 100% to the character and that is what is amazing uh, you know so it was it was uh, it was an experience working with her uh, she is uh, uh, you know uh, as uh, uh, involved as anyone else or in in terms of you know uh, like she wants to get involved so she had this preparations uh you know she she landed up in kashmir a couple of weeks before the shoot where she stayed with the kashmiri family and uh, that's how she picked up the dialect and the mannerisms and the way would how she would speak so she went through all that and then we started shooting so yeah it it's when you have actors who put in more than 100% uh, the journey of uh, filmmaking becomes easier and it you know when uh, at least as far as she was concerned i had switched off and i knew that okay what she has she would come to me asking okay this is how i want to go about it and and we came to a, a general uh, we came to a, a consensus uh, i mean uh, understanding that okay this is how it would be and she did that all the time and it was very lovely and she is a great person to work with uh, as far as uh, talha arshad rishi is concerned it was uh, he he was 10 when we shot the film so he had never ever seen or faced the camera uh, ever and uh, <clears throat> we picked him up from um, you know from one of the schools which we had we were auditioning at and uh, that's how uh, you know me and my casting director just spotted him and said you know he would be the right person so we went put him through um you know this various process of uh, letting him know with other kids like you know letting him know what the process is of of filming so he gets a little familiarized with that whole thing and at the same time i didn't want him to act so i didn't form the character of hamid in fact so when we when we uh, decided that we want to work with him so i first got to know what type of you know what his basic nature was and i let him be the way he was and i put hamid there instead of him acting as hamid let hamid be him and that's how hamid came out and it was it was lovely working with him very ambitious very uh, very very ambitious uh, child uh, and he has a lot of ambitions in life to become a great and big actor and i hope that happens to him soon um, you know so it was a very good experience working with him too question 3 what were the hurdles you found while filming hamid 
Well, I mean, from day one, there have been millions of hurdles. Uh, you know, we've been facing on Hamid. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I've done several ad films and this is my third feature. It never have, you know, it was never as easy as the other ones. I thought, you know, they were difficult. And when Hamid came on, it was even more difficult. The hurdles just went on and on and on right from the beginning, from the first day, from the first line of scripting. And it went on and on until the end. Even, for example, if you see the last, uh, the release, we had decided that we would sh- we would release the film on 1st of uh, of March. Then it was shifted to 15th of March. So it went on and on and on. So, so uh, yeah, it was difficult. And I didn't, even, you know, uh, each time any hurdles would come up and we would take it in a very positive manner and say, all right, let's, let's just, Pass this hurdle and see what happens next. So maybe the next would be even more difficult. So the first, this one would be, well, you know, in our minds would become easier in that way. So there were lots and lots of the problems which were happening and, and we were trying to, you know, just let it happen and let it, let just, just cross, uh, cross, uh, you know, just go across and finish this and see, take this further. So yeah, there were a lot of hurdles there. Like uh, hurdles, I would say, uh, you know, while scripting, there were issues which happened. And then uh, we went for a recce and, uh, you know, my producers, that's good play films, uh, gave me an option and said, okay, why don't you shoot somewhere else in India, in another part of uh, Himachal, because Kashmir, to shoot in Kashmir is very, uh, is a problematic area. So I went searching for the entire you know, the Himachal and I couldn't find because there are a certain reason. And the minute I landed up in Srinagar, I, uh, you know, the things just changed and said, you know, we cannot replicate uh, Srinagar or Kashmir to any other place. And we decided we have to shoot there. So that was taken care of. Then we, when we started shooting, there were, there were problems where we were almost stone belted, uh, you know, a couple of days and where the stone would come we had no idea because somewhere, someone from some place would throw a stone up, it would land on the roof and make a, a lot of noise there and the whole uh, crew would just run away and then you know, we assembled back after some time and continued shooting and that's how it was. Um, besides that, there were a lot of other things which were happening. We finished the film, um, you know, editing, we just couldn't figure out how things, uh, what would be the right uh, you know, mode. My editor was brilliant. Uh, you know, he did a fantastic job. Um, and so on. And the, you know, these hurdles, which are normal, normal. I mean, more, most of the films, filmmakers go through these things. But yeah, in my case, as far as Hamid is concerned, I thought maybe it was real to exaggerated hurdles, which, which came across. But nevertheless, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, end of the doing it or completing the film, I'm really very happy that we 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 crossed those hurdles. There. Question four: When and why did you choose to be a director? My God, this will just go on for a long time. <laughs> well, I have always been uh, as a child, uh, you know, ever since I was in school, I had decided that I want to be a director because my entire family comes from a film background. My father was a director, my uncles, my aunt, my grandmother, my grandfather. So we come from a film background. So, so that was, uh, it, you know, that's what, that's how it was in me as a child. Yeah, my, uh, my father was not a very established uh, director. So my mother always kept me out of this industry and said, you know, don't get into it. So that's why I got into advertising and that's what, that's how I was making ad films. But, uh, you know, after doing that, it pushes you that, okay, now that's just a small format in terms of time. You will have to get into a bigger, and that's how I got into feature, uh, feature films. Uh, you, so, so it's been since my childhood that, yeah, I want to be a director, and that's how it's been. Uh, uh, why I want to be a director? Because I think I am a very good storyteller, and uh, I love to tell stories, and uh, and how this developed in me was because when I was a child, uh, you know, my, uh, my mother and my, you know, uncles and I, they would tell stories like everyone does, you know, bedtime stories. 
and the imagination used to be really wild and i used to ask a lot of questions in terms of that okay how and why and all those things and that helped me to develop that uh, skill of a storyteller because i was a very keen listener uh, and my imagination was really wild and i would get into that imagination and that's what helped me and when i reached uh, you know i grew up and i realized that you know there is a skill which i have in terms of storytelling and that i said i have to pursue my skill and and that's how i became a, a filmmaker and a director because yeah it's it's so beautiful just to uh, you know tell your story to so many people and convince them and make them realize that's that's true uh, that's what fascinates me and i'm very passionate about that question 5 what is your next challenge my god my next challenge is my next script which i have almost completed it's a very complex very hard hitting very dark um story uh, which i am very very excited about so let's see how it goes yes that is my next challenge and it's even more uh, difficult i think and i think there would be even more uh, bigger challenges because it is something which is uh, the story is completely uh, in a uh, it is as they say out of the box yeah it's a different story which i had written after i finished white elephant in fact with my writer meena menon and uh, we developed this uh, she she's a writer screenplay writer on this and and she it's her story and that's how we completed it and um yeah uh, so 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 that is my next challenge and i hope the challenge is because a subject like this is very difficult to to get producers because you know uh, so the challenge is to find a producer who would be interested to say something like this who wants to put in money for a film like this so yes it's a very big challenge so that's my next challenge hopefully i should get over it <laughs> i should find someone